So you LARP in Germany. I had no idea, but I guess it makes sense. You guys got castles and stuff. Subscribe. Also, we stream on twitch.tv slash jamesbreaking very often. Join the community over there. It's growing very rapidly. Be a part of the cult. LARP is a badass hobby of hundreds of thousands of people worldwide. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. My career field, like uh, I'm in the military for those that don't know. And um, a lot of people in my in my career field, they love to LARP on their free time. It's basically like playing video games, but in real life today. I wonder if those spears hurt. Uh, those spears look like they hurt. I'll show you a LARP event that makes you feel like you are right inside of a movie. Oh, my gosh. Hey, I'm Sonia. And here are 10 facts about this looks cool, man. Epic empires. Germany the event is LARPing. held at the Utopion Bexbach campground in the west of Germany, not far from the border to France. It's a beautiful and huge LARP site with more than 160 hectares of woods, meadows, and hills you can play on. Oh my gosh. It usually happens every year at the end of August for about five days. Five days of LARPing? This is intense, dude. Imagine doing like a YouTube video being a part of that. That'd be super sick. Epic Empires is the third biggest LARP event in Germany, with around 1,200 people attending. Most of these LARPers come from all over Germany and some neighboring European countries. That's so cool, bro. I didn't even realize Germany had it like that. Y'all got the biggest LARPing community in the world. That's nuts. So the main language is German, but people are very welcoming and they will switch to English for you. That's there cool. is one big difference to most LARP events, though. Whoa. At Epic Empires, you have to be at least 18 years old to attend. Because they get crazy, bro. They'll beat you with swords. They'll be doing exactly what they, what they did back in, the, in the, the olden days. You know what I mean? Children and people underage are not allowed. The reason is simple. Epic Empires is all about full and deep immersion into a fantastic world. Oh, this looks so cool. I'm not going to lie. This looks so cool. And that might include role-playing intense conflicts, experiencing scenes of violence, or playing with the concept of sexuality. It's oh, shit, isn't it? Uh, okay. You get easily triggered by such topics. This event might not be for you. Yeah, yeah, I, I get that. But, bro, this looks super dope, man. Like, this looks insane. A lot of people got the Krampus, like, you know, like horns on and stuff like that. That's crazy. So to make it as safe as possible for everyone, Epic Empires is strictly for adults that are legally capable. Whoa, bro, that's creepy as heck. But this is so dope. Like I've, so whenever I see LARPing, I see like some, at least in America, it's like some real like watered down course. You got probably like a, like one tent, maybe like a, a, a three, two by four wooden plank TP looking thing. And then people that are dressed up, but, and yes, they're into it, but I don't think they're as into it as these people, man. A full self-responsibility. And of course, this is everyone cool. takes care of each other. That's cool. It's a medieval fantasy setting with a wild mix of high and low fantasy. There are characters from the Warhammer fantasy universe, mixed with historically inspired characters. And you can also see orcs and elves that would fit perfectly into a Lord of the Rings movie. That is so cool. Bro, they might as well just film the next Lord of the Ring movie right there, bro. They probably already have. The concept of this LARP event is player versus player. PvP. And the camps really take that seriously. Yes. You don't just go into another camp like that. There will be guards and they will try to take you down if you have evil in mind. So your LARP character would probably pay with their life Oh shit! for such a careless act. This setting is oh. awesome if you like the thrill that your next enemy might be just around the corner. And of course, it's also great for diplomatic roleplay. Your oh, character wow. can achieve a lot in this world if they are good with words, with political strategies, or if they have just a big bag of coins. Yeah, man, if you if you if you're loaded, <laughs> anything can happen, man. Like it, it, you're untouchable if you have money, man. 
story. The Lizard are the native inhabitants of the fantastic world of epic empires. Once upon a time. This is so cool. Her contacts are dope as hell. And is that like, I think she has like a nose piercing that connects to like her ears. And stuff. This is so dope. Bro, these look like Skyrim characters. Their gods fought a violent war and almost destroyed the world. Oh my god. That is why the Lizard decided to overpower their own gods and lock them into prisons. What? And now you have the chance to influence this world with your own actions. Bro, this background music reminds me of Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> it may it be through politics, adventurous quests, magical rituals, or through combat on the battlefield. Most of the plot of this LARP event is generated by the players themselves. So you really have a big influence on how the story of Epic Empires evolves. Hmm. In LARP, Rules. it's all about roleplay. Yeah. You create your own fantasy character and then you stay in that role for the entire event. Wow. At Epic Empires... So I wonder what happens when your character dies, you know what I mean? Like when you're playing and stuff like that and then boom, taken out of existence. What happens? Do you just lay on the ground for like four days? Like do they put you in like a... Like a... Like, do you stop playing at that point? Like what happens? Like can somebody explain? This is taken very seriously. You really commit to your role and never break character during the event. I mean, it looks like they don't break character. This is dope. Oh my gosh. But where are the limits? You might ask. If this is rules? fantasy and I can create whatever I want, what are there the still rules? Yeah. Yes. And in the case of Epic Empires, the rules are very simple. Your LARP character can only do what you can realistically portray. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That makes sense. So this is like, I mean, Dungeons and Dragons pretty much, right? Because, I mean, Dungeon, Dungeons and Dragons is like a, an IRL thing as well. I mean, there's like the board game of Dungeons and Dragons, but there's also like the LARPing edition of Dungeons and Dragons too, if I'm <clears throat> not mistaken. So is that like, is it similar to that? So, your character can't fly unless you can realistically portray that. True. And if you want to use magic, for example, you do that by using realistic effects such as light or smoke. Oh, shit. And if you want to play a thief, you can absolutely do that. Just stick to the rules and only steal these marked red bags. Only steal the marked red bags, bro. People who, who portray thieves that are like on demon time, bro, actually stealing people's stuff. <laughs> that'd be like, that'd be some menace to society type stuff. You might find them tied to somebody's belt when you walk around the beautiful city at Epic Empires. In battle, you count the times you get hit and it depends on your armor and your experience how many hits you can take before the character is critically wounded. Oof. At Epic Empires, the focus is not on winning at all costs. It's much more important to have a great roleplay experience, even in battle. That's why the camps actually raid each other at the end of each event. That is crazy. So they, wow. So like at the end of the night, like this is a whole event, five days straight, uninterrupted. And like, you guys like, it's like a PVP thing, bro. This is so cool. This is so cool. I never thought I would be into something like this, but this actually looks pretty fun. Whoever has put the most into creating a great overall atmosphere, an immersive roleplay wins the so-called Beinote. After all, Beinote. it's so boring when everyone is an invincible hero of badass. True, true, true. But if you keep it realistic, right? People humble themselves. If they have to take the L, they have to take the L, you know? Um, if they can create an atmosphere that's realistic and it's all-encompassing, then that camp probably wins. That's so cool. It's much more fun for everyone if you also give someone else a hero moment. Yeah. That's a sign of true self-confidence. That's cool. And also one for good roleplay in LARP. That being said, Epic Empires also allows full contact battle. If wow. both parties agree to it. That's cool. It's the so-called Aufs Maul rule, which basically means in your face. 
If both parties signal their consent, you can go into full in-fight mode. Whoa, bro. This looks intense. This is like those wars that I've, I've been seeing on like Netflix Viking movies and stuff. That's crazy. If you want to know more about the rules, there's a full rule book online of the Epic Empire's homepage, even in English. Epic Empire, that's, oof. I don't know, this has my At attention. Epic Empires, there are more than 12 camps you can choose from. Since it's simply impossible to introduce you to every single one of them, here is a look at a few great examples. The Orc Camp is built into a natural crowd. Oh my god, bro. Oh my lord, you see these orcs? Oh, these are these are people actually that are like they're like they're like Christmas ornaments on these pillars. That's actually crazy. And surrounded by high stone walls. Skulls and bones warn the visitors to be extremely careful with these dark creatures. The elven camp is the polar opposite. El it's very elegant. It's it looks super cool. Elegant palisades are built right into the woods. You will walk on freshly cleaned forest paths. Oh my gosh. You will marvel at elven art. And you can even climb these platforms right into the treetops. That's so cool. That's so cool. Bro, it's so cool. Somebody's got to make a video in here, like, like, like actively being one of the participants in here. That'd be so cool. Off we go to the camp of the Norsemen. This is the Norella. It's another great example that everything at Epic Empires is built to be fully immersive. Mm. People even do everyday tasks in game. At Norelak, you really feel like you are surrounded by Vikings and Norsemen. But you can also choose to go to the dark side. What an impressive palisade, right? The dark Covered side. Of hundreds the force. of skulls, you know right away to be fearful of these people. Oh, absolutely. They look like they play aggro, like super aggro. Welcome to the Chaos Camp. If you know Warhammer Fantasy, you know that this is the realm of dark rituals, oh my goodness. evil politics, and bloodthirsty battles. And Literally. Then here is a great example of a more historically inspired low fantasy camp. Welcome to the Pilgrim's Camp. You can see colorful palisades with high watchtowers and soldiers marching side by side with long pole arms in their hands. I wonder if you're allowed to use projectiles in here. I mean, I saw like in the beginning of the video, people throwing spears and stuff like that. Like, I wonder how often people get hurt <laughs> doing stuff like this, bro. When it's like consented, like contact um, for the battles and whatnot. Like, are you allowed to use bow and arrows? I know you're allowed to use obviously spears, but can you use like, like an archer type thing or whatever? That'd be pretty cool. The Pilgrim's Camp really looks like it's set right in the late European Middle Ages between the 13th and the 16th century. And these are just a few examples of the diverse camps you can be a part of at Epic Empires. All of them have wonderfully decorated campsites and are a pleasure to look at. Fausta, hoch die Tasse, auf die Fresse, Messe, Messe, Gesse, Messe, Gesse. So, Hi, the foista. It's foista, right? Hoch die foista, hoch die tasse, auf die fresse, messe, gasse, gasse. Look at. You won't see a single plastic chair or any mobile phones. For wow. these five days, you really live in a medieval fantasy world. Every camp is completely self organized and has between 50 and 150 members. Wow. If you want to be a part of a camp, you need to apply first. And that's how we get to our next point. Whoa. Applications and costumes. That's so cool. Yeah, I had questions about this. I'm like, how do you form like alliances and join, you know, your, 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 your group or your guild or whatever? That's so cool. For most LARP events, you can simply buy a ticket and go to the event. Can you That's watch? That's different for Epic Empires. In order to visit this LARP, you need to choose a camp and then apply for it with a photo and a concept of your character. Mm. Only if they accept your application, you will be able to attend. That's important for two reasons to them. Ooh. First of all, your concept and your costume need to fit the respective theme of the camp. True. So if you want to be a part of the antique camp, for example, your character needs to fit into the world of the old Romans or Greeks. 
The True. entire plot of this LARP event only makes sense if your character really fits the theme. True. The second reason is that Epic Empires wants to create a super immersive experience. True. The goal is that everyone really feels like they are in an actual fantastic world for five days. That's so cool, bro. This is the most like, this is the most immersive thing I've ever seen. Hands down, like this is so the cool. Outfits are as much a part of that as the decoration of your camp. So it needs to be so realistic and well done that it adds to the immersion for everyone. That doesn't mean you need to have a super expensive outfit, however. A simple but well executed costume is absolutely enough. That's Basically, so cool. don't look like this and wear your 90s LARP pirate shirt, cheap plastic fabrics, and old hiking boots. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a stock RuneScape character. Instead, use good basics in fitting colors and most importantly, in game shoes. That looks very professional. This looks really cool. Yes. In-game shoes. In-game shoes. These are super dope. That looks like real leather. That's probably real leather. Or perfectly covered up out-game shoes might be the most outstanding difference to your average LARP game. But don't worry. The camps are really helpful and open-minded. They will support you with tips and tricks for easy improvements if necessary. And they will make sure you will feel right at home when you attend. The oh my Orc gosh. Camp even offers an Orc Apprenticeship at Epic Empires. If you have always wanted to know if this roleplay is for you, you can be an Orc for a day. They will lend you a costume and guide you around. Price. Once your application was successful, you can purchase your tickets directly through your respective camp. That's Depending cool. on when you book, the prices are between 130 and 180 euro for the five-day event. That's not bad at all. That's really, that's that's pretty cool. That's a good price. That's Epic a good price. Empires is completely organized by volunteers. They are part nice. of a non-profit association, and so the money from the tickets goes entirely back into the event. That's awesome. Yes, there are decent sanitary facilities at Epic Empires. That's awesome. You will find hot showers on two locations, and mobile toilets on at least three locations of the campsite. That's cool. Be prepared to walk a little because the campsite is really big. Ooh. You will also find the paramedics adjacent to the shower containers. Okay. They Maltesa. can help you with any health issues. That's cool. In terms of merchants, there are only a few in the town center that sell meat or time in a hot tub. In general, you need to bring your own food and drinks to Epic Empires. Okay. And people really take their time to cook and even bake in-game. Y'all be baking over there? That is crazy! I have seen some beautiful historical ovens and cooking stations over open fire. This... They should have like a like a medieval Chef Gordon Ramsay. They should have like a like a pseudo like like cooking competition in like within the camps. That'd be super cool. It absolutely adds to the immersive atmosphere. So make sure to bring your own supplies. If you want more information, visit epic-empires.de and make sure to check out Epic Empires on Facebook and Instagram. They are very active on social media and happy to answer all your questions or direct you to a camp of Bro, this looks so cool. This looks so cool. Choice. If you liked this video, make sure to follow our channel Sonya's Adventures for more cool LARP videos and for other badass adventures. This is insane, what the heck?